Hey Shackers, welcome to Shaq's Arcade Corner, where I go over some of the best arcade classics and a brief history. Today on Shaq's Arcade Corner... X-Men vs. Street Fighter! X-Men vs. Street Fighter was the first game to feature both Marvel and Street Fighter characters. The arcade game was released in the US in 1996 and quickly became an arcade classic. The game was ported to the Sega Saturn and the Sony PlayStation, but due to hardware limitations on the PlayStation, the game had to remove the tag battle system, which prevented people from tagging characters in and out of the match in real time. A character would only come in after your first fighter had been KO'd. For an arcade game at that time, it had a large array of characters to choose from. On the Marvel side, you had Wolverine, Sabretooth, Cyclops, Magneto, Juggernaut, Rogue, Storm, and the fan favorite Gambit. On the Street Fighter side, you had Dalsim, Bison, Chun-Li, Zangief, Kami, Charlie, and of course, Ryu and Ken. There was also the option to choose Normal or Turbo Mode from the character select screen. This was one of those games that had lines in the arcades, with the usual one kid everyone was trying to beat at the front. Those were the good old days. No rage quitting. Or hate messages. The only reason they put Sentinel in the game is because my <laughs> we played him in Marvel Girls Capcom 2 were like, eh, put Sentinel in the game, where and they put him in, okay? He's not actually good, he's just overpowered and bullshit. You should realize that because you play him a lot. X Factor does massive damage, too much damage, you'd probably kill yourself if you keep playing Sentinel. Bye bye. This was the game that got me into the Capcom vs. series, and it's now a piece of fighting history. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner.